Okay, I'm gonna use my first ortho is gonna be subacromial push button sign. And that would be, I would use that for patients who came in with complaint of anterior shoulder pain, um, that they just kind of don't really remember how it happened, or if there was some kind of trauma that they had. Um, it would be constant pain, usually overall, and then it would be worse with activity. It would be maybe possible stiffness. Worse with abduction especially, that would be pretty exacerbated after that. It'll be a gradual onset, it wouldn't be something sudden. Um, the anatomy involved would probably be the, I mean, it's gonna be subacromial bursa, and that would be inflamed, which would cause a bursitis, and that can happen by either repeated shoulder flexion movements, causing that bursa, to get compressed by the arch that's above it, created by the acromion process and the coracoid process. Um, also, differentials could be either a um, rotator cuff injury, possible supraspinatus tendon, which runs right along the same area, or a long head of the biceps tendonitis. So it's kind of hard to distinguish between those two um, without further testing, but this would probably, the patient would more than likely be someone who does a lot of overhead work. So uh, stalkers at supermarkets or electricians, um, just like everyday people, and also just athletes, basketball players, baseball players, football players, really any kind of athlete that does anything over their head. Um, let's see. If there was trauma, I would do an x-ray to determine whether there was any fractures involved or possible dislocations. Um, MRI would be helpful to determine like whether or not there's actual tendon trauma, like tendon ruptures or anything like that. Um, shoulder range of motions that would be painful would essentially be all of them, but more than likely the, like I said, the abduction will be worse and it would all be pretty decreased during a neurological exam, the muscular strength at least, not so much the reflex or the sensation. So just a decrease in muscle strength. And then let's see, male and female predilection would be similar. Doesn't really distinguish between genders. Um, the x-ray would also help to tell if there's any degeneration going on that's causing that bursitis. And the ortho is Basically, you go to your patient, you stand behind them, you follow their clavicle until you get to the little soft spot, right in between their shoulder, right in the front of their shoulder. And you can use the hand that's closest to the patient. You're basically just gonna find that little soft spot and then push into it. And then if they do have a bursitis, the patient will be like, ow, that hurts, get off me, don't do that. And so a follow-up would be Dauberns, which I would go like this with that compression, and then I would abduct their arm and that would actually relieve their symptoms <laughs> because the deltoid will be getting in between the bursa and the arch, which would cushion it essentially, and it would make it less painful. So.